VH1 and MTV reality shows are some of the most ridiculous while at the same time being some of the most entertaining reality shows around. If these guys don't clean their teeth, it probably means they have smelly balls. And at the same time, they're owned by Viacom, so this is going to be a pain in the ass to not get claimed. But we all know that reality shows are some of the lowest forms of entertainment, basically bottom of the barrel garbage when it comes to entertainment. But we all love it at the same time. And I would say the 90s to the early 2000s were the peak of garbage reality shows. We had The Real World. We had Next, which I made a video on like three years ago. Room Raiders. Yo Mama. Remember that? Yo Mama, the show where they just said Yo Mama jokes back and forth and it was hosted by the actor who played Fez on that 70s show. It doesn't feel like it's real, but it was. His mama is a very nice person. And the thing about reality shows is they always blur that line between is it real, is it fake? But I feel like a lot of these older shows just didn't give a shit. They realized they were fake and they didn't care if anyone thought that they were fake. They were just gonna make it entertaining. And that left with some of the funniest shit you could find. She was exactly what I would do if I built a woman. Because the actors they hired and just the acting in all of these shows are so piss poor, it's just hilarious. And to be fair, you know, when I was a child, I did kind of believe that it was real, but you know, I was a child, whatever, and you know, I was stupid and dumb child, dumb. I feel like a good example of these shows would definitely be parental control, you know, the 2010 reality shows. And the concept of the show is that the parent doesn't really like the child's what person that, that they're dating, so they end up trying to hire someone to date their daughter or son someone better or whatever. And obviously hilarity ensues. This show was actually so entertaining that I was planning on making this video about parental control until I stumbled upon something even worse, something that I wasn't even aware existed. It was a show called Date My Mom. Now obviously the title alone is gonna snatch you, grab you by the balls and lick, lick you a little bit. But listen to me when I tell you this is the greatest show ever to exist when it comes to reality shows. The basic concept of the show is that there is a homosexual male or female who is a person who is searching for a partner. But basically they ended up taking the person's mom on a date to try to figure out about their offspring and see if they wanna go out on a date with them depending on if they like their mom or not. And just by that concept alone, you know for a fact this is going to be hilarious. And boy is it. And yes, the acting is insanely terrible. So let's go through the episode. One of my favorite episodes. I've watched a few of these and then I picked out one that is just my favorite. Now I'll be honest here, the way they portrayed homosexuals in this show is just pure stereotype and like a caricature of what it actually is like. You know, it's the early 2000s. That's just kind of how people treated it back then. So just wanted to mention that before we go into this, you know, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's honestly just a big stinky doo-doo, but you want to know what is in it? Big stinky doo doo? Native. Native's classic deodorant is aluminum free and paraben free. There's no sticky feeling to it and it dries quickly. Also, it's vegan friendly and cruelty free. I put it on once in the morning and boom, bam, I'm feeling fresh and I recommend you all do that, especially you, Smash players. Do it. Now, Deodorants, you know, they normally cost like $39 or something like that. But if you use my link and my code, you'll get all of this for 26 smackaroonies. That's over 30% off with my code. And also you can get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Now that's a good ass deal. Go to the link in the description, click it, or just use my code and you will get yourself a sick ass deal and be smelling fresh, baby. I'm into guys who are hot. Not guys who think they're hot. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. Who is he yelling at? Who are you yelling at? Does he know where he is? So basically this guy is the dude who's going to be dating all of the moms. And then we meet the first contestant, I, I guess you could call it, Josh, who is 21 years old and loves bondage. That's kind of just his personality. He loves sex and he loves bondage. I just want to say kudos to a mom who was supporting her son being homosexual in the early 2000s. I mean, is that actually his mom and not a paid actor? It's, it's, prob it's probably a paid actor, but whatever. At least they portrayed it like it was his mom. This is gonna be stellar. 
Bring on mom number one. Oh no, Stellar. Also, who are you yelling at? Why is he yelling? There's so many portions of this episode that are just so strange. So anyway, he takes the first mom out on a date. And for some weird reason, she just doesn't wear shoes. And just goes outside and goes with him. And they make it like a thing. Like, obviously, this was probably planned out. I doubt she walked outside on purpose without shoes. But it's just so strange that they added that. Should I mention to Diana that she forgot her shoes? Jeremy's cute. Josh would bone him. <laughs> you know what? I like this mom. So he takes her to a vintage car show. Mentioned that this car is a 69 and that's his favorite number. Nice. Nice. And then he teaches her swing dancing in the middle of the parking lot with no music while everyone just sits there and watches them. And then she mentions that her feet are like leather because she never wears shoes. This is weird. I'm, this is straight. Foot fetish guys out there? I mean, like, you into leather feet? Could be a new thing. Oh! Oh, look at those things! Oh, yo! Oh, Jesus. So how the conversation starts out is the mom's like, yeah, my son's nice. He likes dancing. He's into bondage. I mean, at least she's, like, straight to it. Like, I mean, I know that's, like, his only personality trait in this show, but, like, she's, boom, straight to it. So then the mom talks about how after uh, he brings friends over, he has residue. Re Come! It's got cum on him. So then mommy, mom, mommy, mommy, mommy. So then mommy uh, impersonates her son and starts grinding on, on the, the dude. A little bit of Josh. A little bit of Josh. Oh. Oh, God. So the first mom kind of was just like, hey, my son likes bonding. You want to be dominated? You want to be his little bitch? And then that was the whole date. Uh, that's it. Not even joking. She twerked on him a little bit. Talked about her leather feet a lot. It was weird. Moving on. Remember this? You guys remember that? Did people ever do that? Was that a thing? I remember that. That was that was a thing. That was a thing, wasn't it? So the next mom is just a mom who uh, tries to come up with a bunch of like hip lingo that they used to say back in the day, like word you heard, and uh, cringe ensues. And I'm gonna kick these mothers' asses for real. Ah! Mom number two, get ready to shoot him up. Whoa, shoot him up. What is he talking about? So basically they paid this mom to just be as cringe as physically possible and be the mom who's like, yeah, I'm hip with the kids, even though they completely aren't and it's great. Christine looks harmless. I hope she knows how to get gangsta. So the next date, they go and dress up as Bonnie and Clyde and basically role play. A gay guy who likes Britney Spears? Shocker. What is, what is it? What? What? Are you into, are you into sex a lot? Are you into sex a lot? Are you into sex? A, are you into sex? A, are you in, are you, are you, are you? That's a question. That is a question. Christine was all, what, what? But her son sounds kind of, what? On to my next mom date. God, this guy is so fucking amazing. This is this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm Daniel and I'm 18 and I'm one hot piece of ass. He seemed very confident with that hot piece of ass statement. You think he believes it? It the uh, it's it's not it's not plugged in. You gotta you gotta plug it into something. You can't just you can't take it outside and just do that. That's not how it works. That's not how technology works. Also ask him if he's uncircumcised too. And why is that important? We'll just make sure that he's uncircumcised. It's not important why. Okay. Do we have a gatekeeping circumcised guy here? Come on, like uncircumcised and circumcised alike. They all taste the same. I'm not saying I I'm not saying I I'm I d I wouldn't know. I'm just saying that I've heard. I've heard people. I wear big shoes, so do you think Daniel can handle that? Big shoes? Does that mean what I think it means? I don't know. I don't know, does it? Does it mean what you think it means, does it? Oh. Oh, I can't take this. So anyway, the third mom goes on a date with them and they eat Mongolian in Mongolian hats. What size does Daniel wear? Twelve and a half. Hmm. <laughs> Twelve and a half. Ooh. Penis. Talking about penis size there. Remember the shoe size, penis size? Is Daniel on MySpace? He sure is. He has a picture that I've seen of him holding his shirt up and showing his abs. Boys into MySpace? 
don't get into my space. Okay, that was a good one. I'll give him that one. Boys into my space won't get into my space. Round of applause. That was a good one. Good job, one line writers. What? Why is he standing like that? Why is he standing like an oblivion NPC? And stop yelling! Stop yelling! No wonder he ties everyone up. It's to keep him from running away. <laughs> okay, I take it back. You know, I, I complimented the one-liners earlier. I take it back. That, no, that was the worst one I've ever heard in my entire life. How do you think he looked? He looked really stupid. <laughs> this show doesn't exist. There's no possible way this show was real. Like... The, oh, every second of this show is how this show had three seasons. How did this show have three seasons? I don't understand. But in the end, he ends up going for the third dude. Uh, they end up uh, like full uh, gaping mouth, tongue sucking face for a good while. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the reality show Date My Mom. One of the greatest shows I've ever seen in my entire life. And a lot of these episodes are on YouTube and I watched a lot of them. Would recommend go checking him out if you want a good laugh. But Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tell your mom about me because I need I need more I need more I need, we need more views. I need more more views now now.